Hi, hello, namaste. Welcome back to Needs of Children. We are discussing about 8th standard English medium social science. In that geography chapter number 4 continued part of hydrosphere. In the previous session we get the information about the distribution of water bodies. The very important concepts like oceans, sea, gulf, bay, strait, isthmus. These are the water bodies we get the information and also relief of the ocean floor, the concept of temperature and salinity. So these are the important concepts you are discussed in the previous session. Let's come to the, in this session we are going to get the more information about hydrosphere. So about the ocean currents. The ocean water has three types of movements. They are waves, currents and tides. Ocean currents are the regular movement of ocean water from the reason to another, one reason to another. Ocean currents are majorly classified into two types. So they are considered as the warm currents and cold currents. So they are majorly classified into as a warm currents and cold currents. So warm currents, these currents originate and flow from the equatorial region to subpolar regions. Warm currents, so these are originates and flow from the equatorial region to subpolar regions. Cold currents, these currents originate in the polar regions and flow towards the equatorial region. So here are some of the factors influence the ocean currents are rotation of the earth, temperature, wind, salinity, shape of the land masses are the very major important factors for the influence of ocean currents. They are North Pacific Ocean. In that North Pacific Ocean as they are classified into as a warm currents and blue in color are considered as the cold currents. Warm currents are considered as the North Equatorial current. They are Kuroshio, Kuroshio current. The North equatorial current, they are Kuroshio current, warm currents. Whereas cold currents, so next they are considered as the cold currents. Cold currents, they are Oyashio current as well as California current. So Oyashio current and California current. So these are the North Pacific Ocean location. And the South Pacific Ocean, they are as a warm currents. Warm currents, the red in color, they are South equatorial current and East Australia. So here it is East Australia current and South equatorial current. South equatorial current as well as East Austra Australian current. Cold currents. Cold currents they are blue in color. Peru of Humboldt. Peru of Humboldt. So here okay, you can see Peru of Humboldt current and West wind drift. West wind drift. These are the South Pacific cold currents and the currents of the Atlantic Ocean are they are North Atlantic Ocean majorly classified into as a warm currents and cold currents. So North Equatorial they are Gulf Stream or the North Atlantic Drift. North Atlantic Drift whereas North Equatorial current they are Gulf Stream and North Atlantic Drift whereas Cold currents. Cold currents are Labrador current and then uh, Norwegian current. So they are in the uh, West East Greenland current. So these are cold currents and Canary. Canary. So these are the cold currents are located in the North Atlantic Ocean. And the South Atlantic Ocean majorly warm currents are South Equatorial current. You can see South Equatorial current. They are Brazilian current. You can see here Brazilian current and cold currents. Cold currents are majorly as Falkland. They are located in the Falkland. Here you can see the Falkland current and Benguela. Benguela. Here it is you can see Benguela or South Atlantic Ocean. And the currents of Indian Ocean. The North Indian Ocean currents are change their direction seasonally the following monsoons like during the southwest monsoon, southwest monsoon, they are southwest monsoon, 
majorly the currents flow in the south west to north east direction south west to north east direction south west to north east direction during the north east monsoon they flow in the north east to south west direction the south indian ocean currents which are mozambic you can see here it is mozambic madagascar they are located in the madagascar place of madagascar then aghalas aghalas you can see here aghalas warm currents are west australia they are located in warm currents west australia and australian so are the cold currents in the south indian ocean warm currents are mozambique madagascar aghalas current whereas cold currents are west australia west australia whereas west are the cold currents examples for cold currents in the indian ocean so here are the concept of tides types causes and uses tides they are are the periodic rise and fall tides tides are the periodic rise and fall in the sea or a ocean level they occur due to the gravitational attraction by the moon gravitational force by the sun rotation of the earth and centrifugal force of the earth in this way so the types of tides causes and uses are going to be occur so majorly the tides types are classified into two types one it is high tide and also known as the flood tide and low tide it is also known as ebb tide on the water bodies of the earth there are alternative high tides and low tides between one high tide a low tide the time duration is 6 hours 13 minutes between one high tide and another time gap is 12 hours 26 minutes in 24 hours 52 minutes there are two high tides and two low tides are flow in the ocean are in the seas there are two types of tides on the basis of the positions of the moon and the sun there are two types of tides on the basis of the position of the moon and the sun are they are spring tide number one it is called as the spring tide and neap tide spring tides take place when the earth the moon and the sun are in the same straight line example new moon and full moon when the spring tides takes place high tides are the highest and low tides are the lowest during the spring tides during the new moon or full moon when the spring tides takes place high tides are very highest low tides are very lowest during the spring tides and neap tides neap tides occur on the first quarter and the last quarter days in the phase of the moon during neap tides the sun and the earth are in the same straight line and moon is in right angle to the earth in this type of tides the high tides are not very high and low tides are not very low so that is the uh, two types of tides on the basis of the positions of the moon and the sun spring tide and neap, neap tides let's come to the here are some of the uses of the tides tides are directly and indirectly useful to mankind in following ways number one tides help navigation for big ships during the high tides and tides they prevent some extent the freezing sea or ocean water in the coast tides help to keep the harbors very clean and they help for fishing they also help to generate tidal energy these are some of the very important uses of the tides and conservation of oceans conservation of ocean is a very important because ocean help us in many ways and they are the habitat of millions of marine organisms considering the rate at which the oceans are being contaminated they may not remain what they should be in the future here are 
some of the very important uh, following are the important methods to conservation of oceans the first one oil transportation should be done through the pipelines so instead of transporting the uh, use boats or ships it can be transported through the pipelines that is the best way and the second one nuclear waste should not be dumped in the, into the sea or a ocean we should, should not be nuclear waste should not be dumped into the sea or a ocean petrochemical industries in the coastal region must be avoided during effluents into the sea or a ocean dumping of any waste near the ports and harbors must be controlled or deposition and minerals exploitation along the coast must be controlled exploitation and destruction of beaches must be controlled and these are some of the very important methods of conservation of oceans so that's it about today's session i hope you have understood till now what we are discussed in case if you having any doubts related to the concept of the entire lesson of the hydrosphere you can comment in the comment box i will solve your doubts and i will come back with the next video until keep watching my channel thank you have a nice day see you in the next session bye bye take care